ahead, grab your cutting board. You want to go ahead and grab some cheese that's cut up, a pan, some oil, some butter. Your choice of any type of weenus you want to use. You can grab you some flour, a cutting knife, the crescent roll bread mix, dough mix, whatever, and you want to get the roller. All right, let's go. My name Uncle Fresco, and we cook it. The type of bread roll that I'm going to use is the crescent bread roll dough mix. You want to date and you want to open the crescent dough mix. I chose to use this type of dough because I like that type of flavor. That's what Uncle Fresco likes. Don't judge me. That's just what I like. As you see, we open this. We're going to take and slide open and, sl and lay everything down. Put a little bit of the flour on top of that. I got the self-rising flour on top of that. You're going to put a little bit on top of the cutting board so that your dough won't move or be sticky when you're trying to deal with it because nobody likes sticky. Your dough. Now take your dough, spread it out. We're gonna take a little bit of that flour and put it on top of the dough. That way that we can make we can make sure we can we can get more control of the dough. Alright now, take and roll the dough out and make sure that it's flat as it can be. Now you wanna go and grab you your pack of wieners. I chose a little smokies because I like the flavor of them sausages. I got my pizza cutter and I'm about to cut the squares up. Then I'm going to roll my crescent or my biggest in my blankets. Now you want to make sure you cut a nice rectangle square, whatever your preference is. But you want to get you nice little squares so you can roll and fold your little wieners together. Grab your wieners and go ahead and grab your butter from out of the kitchen. I chose blue bonnet because I like the flavor. Again, don't judge me. Put that butter in the microwave and and what you want to do is put it on about 25 to 30 seconds and heat it up. All right, now, now that our butter is heated up, we're going to go ahead and grab and put it into the pan. Take that cheese that we talked about. I got chatter cheese. And what I'm about to do is glaze my pan and get ready to prepare my pigs for their blankets. It's time to go to sleep. All right, now, put that pan to the side. Put the cheese in the middle of the piece of the dough. And what you want to do is kind of, uh, make you any kind of design that you want to choose to make your dough in but you remember you're gonna have to roll it up though monster pig monster pig monster pig monster try not to roll up too much of the cheese inside of the piggies because i found out that if you try to put too much cheese inside of it you won't be able to stretch the dough out so what i was gonna do is make a monster piggy and uh kind of just make something up uncle fresco like to eat so i ain't gonna have them little piggies them little piggies ain't gonna do now for me. All right, now we're going to kind of arrange these piggies inside of the pan so that they have enough space so that they're going to rise a little bit because you remember they got yeast inside of that dough. So what you want to do is arrange them enough so they have enough space to do what they got to do. Okay, put some hot ass butter on top of them piggies so that that dough will be able to be crispy and golden brown soon as you pull it from out of the oven. Add you some pepper and some salt and now you ready to go. Put them hot ass Ass pig is inside of the oven and let them sleep. Damn, my stomach. Bro, oh, I gotta go take me a shit. Think I got the runny booty. Hey, I'll be back. Hey, G, I'm about to go take a shit behind your fridge, bro. Hold on, bitch. You been shit behind my motherfucking refrigerator? Are you serious, bro? I'm a fucking rat. I didn't shit it everywhere in your damn house. What? Hey, let's go to my house. I got some leftover pizza. Did you shit on that too? You actually got your own spot? I thought you was somebody's pet. What? I ain't nobody's pet. I'm a real street rat, homie. I done seen my niggas die in a trap. What? Gun violence? Nah, like a real fucking rat trap, nigga. That shit was crazy. Earlier today, a police officer shot and killed a thug who refused to comply with orders. We stand by him 100% as he fully complied with police protocol. That's police chief Lip Piggy describing today's shooting of an unarmed black man. Surveillance footage, however, disputes what the chief had to say. Put your fucking hands up where I can see them! Bro, look, I'm unarmed! Put your hands up right now! Officer, listen, I'm unarmed! This is your last chance! Sir, calm down, I'm unarmed! Fuck it! Dude, I'm handicapped, I'm unarmed! I told you like 20 times, man! Well, I'll be damned. Could've swore I saw you reaching for some- Oh, you got a third hand, don't you? Put that motherfucking hand up! Man, what the fuck? I ain't got no three hands! Hey, what you reaching for? Hey, man, I ain't got nothing to reach with! Next time on Nickelodeon, Hood Man! Will this do rat carry him across the river or will he fall and be eaten by the rapids crackheads? Now as we check on our, our pigs in our blanket in this hot ass oven, we make sure that it's golden brown. Pull it out and check that it can move. It ain't stuck to the pan because remember we put that butter on the bottom of that pan. Now our pigs are golden brown and are 
ready to be served. Make sure you give it about a couple minutes to cool off because some of y'all may put that hot ass pig inside y'all and uh, it may burn your mouth. Don't blame me, that is the disclaimer. But tune in next week for another dish with Uncle Fresco. God damn it, it's missing something. Cheese. If you haven't already, hit that like button. You can also subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Leave a comment in the comment box. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like about the show, and how you 